Hey there guys, Fire Mage once again, continuing on with my Legend of Dragoon challenge run. I'm um, giving you guys a really quick little bonus video of doing Kamui. Uh, it's just a bonus fight, as soon as I finish it, it is just resetting the game. Uh, more or less just to show that it can be done, everything like that. Um, main reason I'm saying, if you really can't beat Kamui in any kind of challenge conditions, you really can't beat anything in this disc with the same challenge conditions. Um, yeah, if you really can't do it, then there's no point in continuing on, because everything else in this disc is harder. Um, so it's a little bit of an addition check-in with everybody. Uh, all still at level 5. Uh, Hammerspin was very quick on leveling up for Maru. Um, I pretty much got it with Dragoon Lennis, and it didn't even really take me that much time on farming. Um, and then, of course, stats and everything like that. Um, yeah, darts with that 57 attack is really just holding me back so much in terms of damage. Um, Maru and Dart almost do the same levels of damage. It's a little bit sad. But Dart does get a sword, uh, too, actually, in this disc uh, that you can find. So that will be good. So fight more or less starts at almost two minutes in. Um, Kamoi has 4,000 HP, uh, not elemental, and really only has three attacks. That's it. Uh, a physical single target, a magical multi-target, and then one that uh, inflicts, I believe, um, I don't remember which status, but it is something that targets everybody for statuses. Um, so damage is, wow, that was horrible. So Maru does like 144, which means that that's going to be at least the minimum that Dart does. Kongol does 300, which is a very good chunk of his HP right there. It's almost, um, that's actually 7.5%. Uh, Kamui is rather fast. He does have some very high speed. Um, so, of course, Bandit's equipment does offset that a good bit. Here's the one that inflicts statuses. Paralysis is the status. That's it. Stunning. Fogs available in this chapter make healing so much easier. 
um, just pop a fog and then you're good to go for a good portion of time instead of just having to rely on a potion. Um, breezes basically being the only thing that do heal for half and that is multi uh, character healing so that's also good. having been out of this fight for a good portion of time so far but already below half HP on Kamoi and this will bring Kongle out of uh, stunning And significantly hurt him too. Maru only protected because of the fact that she was guarding that turn. Uh, still do definitely need to pop a healing breeze. Finally down in the red, so less than a grand left. Hopefully Kongle does have a chance to attack now, ending this fight quicker. There we go. A couple more attacks will end this fight.
there's not even really necessarily a need to heal because this should finish it right here. And it does. And that is Kamoi. Um, simple, by the numbers battle, really. Um, in most cases, this would be a good source of experience. 8,000, um, you know, even at the levels I'm currently at right now, gives Dart and Maru a level. Also, uh, gives Kongo a level. Right there. Uh, you do get two new additions with that le with um, with that next level, and then um, Shauna, Albert, both. Um, so yeah, that that is basically it's kind of showing what you would get in terms of experience. Um, next boss fight that is actually in the next actually required fight is um, Grand Jewel. Um, just showing that I am resetting, blah, blah, blah. Um, with Grand Jewel, pretty much it actually will guarantee me those two. Um, and then also, uh, I do believe that um, Rose also gets um, Hard Blade, followed by Demon's Dance. So there will be a good portion of um, farming after after Grand Jewel and Cadessa. Um, but until uh, then, I will see you guys later. Bye.